Unit 1, page 5. Read. Exercise 2. Read and listen to the text. Somebody is watching you. CCTV cameras were initially developed as a means of security for banks. In Britain, they first appeared in 1953, and by the 1960s, there were already a few cameras in major streets in London. Today, there are more than 4 million CCTV cameras across the country. That's one camera for every 14 people. The cameras are there to film dangerous or illegal behaviour. With new software, they can automatically recognise the faces of known offenders. And a new kind of CCTV cameras can even interact with the people they're watching. But these cameras don't just watch criminals. They watch all of us, almost all of the time. Every time we go into a shop, use a cash machine, or travel on public transport, a camera records our actions. The amount of surveillance in towns and cities across Britain is increasing because it is thought to deter crime. Some goods and shops now have RFID tags, radio frequency identification tags, attached to them. When you pick up one of these items, the RFID tag sends a radio message to a CCTV camera and the camera starts filming you. Shops say this technology helps to catch shoplifters, but only by treating everybody as a potential criminal. Cameras and tags are not the only ways of monitoring our actions. Every time you make or receive a call on your mobile phone, the phone company knows the number of the phone you are calling and how long the call lasts. It is even possible to work out your exact location. The police often use this information when they are investigating serious crimes. And what about satellites? Are they watching us from space? How much can they see? Anybody with a computer can download Google Earth and get satellite photos of the entire world. Perhaps governments are using even more powerful satellites to watch the illegal actions of their citizens. Even when you're at home, you're not necessarily safe from surveillance. High-speed internet connections have made computers more vulnerable than ever before. When you use your computer to visit websites, you're probably sending and receiving cookies without realizing it. Cookies transfer information from your computer to the website and in theory could record which websites you visit. Or perhaps somebody has secretly installed a keystroke login program on your computer. These record every letter that you type on the keyboard, your passwords, your emails and your bank account numbers for example. Modern technology is making it easier and easier to stay in contact, but it is also making it nearly impossible for us to hide.